I really felt that research has the power to transform our world. But I also appreciate Oxford. One of the things that Kevin and Anne and I sh uh, shared with me, Anne once shared with me when I visited with them, was that Oxford was focusing on Africa uh, as a priority, as a strategic priority. I believe the Africa Oxford initiative, which you're leading, must be the epicenter of that goal. And that fora, which brings together researchers from different fields, must help to ensure that that aspiration is realized. So I say to you, what has been birth in this inaugural fora, you need to take seriously, because the potential to change our world is enormous. Put your hand up if you've ever had a fever. Yeah, a fever. <laughs> My name is Jolene, I'm a DIFO student in clinical medicine and I'll be talking about challenges facing hepatitis B virus elimination in Africa. I'm going to talk about conditioning for trees and forests. Uh, basically, I'm a mathematician turned statistician and also trying now to fit into the fancy world of machine learning. But really what we're going to be talking about in the next hour, and we really hope that you are going to be talking more than us, is about what's behind the paper and the publication and, and the report, which is the, the collaborations, the partnerships, and the engagements as we, as we do research with and on and about Africa. I guess I'm delivering a message to those who are based here in Oxford and in other UK institutions interested in transforming their classroom using radical pedagogy. You know, anyway, to cut a long story short, we developed this intervention which was truly rooted in, in an emic perspective which was designed to use indigenous concepts and terms to address psychological morbidity, in particular common mental uh, disorders. But a lot of what is written DSM-5 does not truly apply to African populations. You know, for instance, the word depression does not exist in any African language. What we call in the West, depression, and what we call in my part of the world, kufungisisa, which literally means thinking too much.